Hi artists. Did you know that one thing artists do is they study the artwork from people, from artists from different time periods to get ideas on techniques and to get ideas about history and to get ideas about feelings. So today, will you join me as we study some artwork from the California Gold Rush? Artists, today I'll give you this link to that really amazing website, the California Museum, Oakland, California History, Art of the Gold Rush. Welcome to the Art of the Gold Rush. Don't miss the buttons below, above, which will expand your and extend your Gold Rush experience. You're going to go down to here, the Art of the Gold Rush. So today, artists, you're going to be exploring these artworks. Will you explore some with me? Let's start with here, San Francisco Bay. Wow, this was by this was made by Thomas A. Aris in 1816 to 1858. It's called the San Francisco Bay. He made it in 1851 with watercolor, gouache, and pencil on paper. It's at the Oakland Museum of California. So when you when the shelter in place is lifted and you go to the museum, you can see this. Click next to see the next piece of art. <gasps> wow. This is by Henry Bacon. He lived from 1839 to 1912. The Luck of the Roaring Camp, made in 1880 with oil on canvas. Wow, Ooh, look at that. Wow, do you see the colors the artist used? Look at that fireplace. Next. Oh, wow. Look at this one, Crossing the Isthmus and about 1860 by oil on canvas. So students, you know there was different ways that people got to California during the gold rush. This was one, this was through, through the Isthmus. Beautiful. Look at this guy. The Lone Prospector, that's the title of the of the artwork made in 1853 with oil on canvas. Wow, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to look at all the rest of these artworks. So artists, today you're gonna be studying the artwork of the California Gold Rush. So enjoy your studies and I wanna know which one was your favorite. <laughs> 